Okay, we're pleased to have here on uh, the National News Network, um, the man of the moment, Kyle Mears. Congratulations on your fantastic innings um, for the West Indies in the first test in against Bangladesh. How special was this innings to you? Uh, first of all, thank you. Um, it was very special, you know, um, to play my first test, to get a double hundred and then to take my team across the line. You know, I can't ask for nothing more than that. What what you think was the what would you put down as the your key reason for being so successful in in, in this particular innings and batting so strongly? I think sticking to my game plan, um, I put in the team goal first and not my personal goal, um, made it even better. You know, um, obviously, my goal was to score hundred in my first test. Anybody who wants to score hundred in the first test, but obviously the team required me to score more runs, and it just worked out that I scored a double hundred. You know, so. Sticking to my game plan as long as possible. Uh, putting the team goal in front of my personal goal. How, how nervous were you um, considering the state of the game and when you came out? And how did that impact upon, upon the way that you that you batted, you know, um, and, the, and your opposition bowling, the pitch conditions and so on? How, how, how nervous were you? How did that impact how you uh, approach your innings? Um, I was not as nervous as the first innings, um, to be honest. I was never so nervous to bat yet, you know, in my first, first innings. Um, but coming out in the second innings in the situation, obviously it was not ideal. Team struggling three down for like 40-odd, um, God going back. Not ideal time either, you know, coming out to the evening. Um, but I tried to take all that away. Um, I just tried to stay as positive as possible. Um, to play my natural game uh, and not think of the situation and it just worked out well. And and how much confidence do you get out of the innings like the like the one that you played? I mean, I feel very confident now, but I don't want to get too overconfident, obviously. Um it's still cricket and as you mentioned before, the opposition they are good and especially at home on these kind of pitches, um it's not easy. Um, in my first game, I could tell you, um, Test Cricket is not as easy as they look on TV. Um, it may seem so because they score runs, whatever the case may be, but it really isn't easy. It is the longest time I ever bought it. Um, I bought it 300 odd balls. I went through periods where I only scored 20 runs in two hours, and that's not me, you know. That's not things that you associate with me, you know. I'm accustomed to getting the ball for me, scoring freely when I run a ball, you know. But um, it's just to adapt. You know, and, and try to play as, as, as best as you could. And, and what is the key lesson that you would have uh, taken away from this innings to use for the, for the next test and, and, and even for the career? Is it batting balls? Because you said, you, you know, you're good. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I always, always thought that coming out to first last season where I had a good season, you know, I had uh, one of my best seasons ever playing with Barbie the Spray, um, thanks to the coaches and, and the captain, you know, for, for the backing. Um, I just went over, I went over the, the season and I thought that one of the, the negative things that I could take from it to improve on was batting more balls. You know, I scored hundreds and probably a hundred balls. Um, I scored fifties, seventies, sixty balls. You know, I just tell myself if I could bat more balls, probably would get more runs, you know, um, and that was one of the, the things I had to work on and that's, Luckily, or the the hard work that's paid off in this game, you know, um, trying to bat as long as possible, um, and and it benefit me in this game for sure. So that's a lesson I learned learned from the first test, you know, batting balls. Um, I know if I bat enough balls, I can get more runs, you know. Um, obviously, as I said before, this level is not easy. So it, there's times where you got to buckle down and put your tail between your legs, as some people would say, and try to hang in as long as possible. And wait on that time where you could capitalize. So for me, being patient is the main thing I would take from that first game. You, uh, we're talking to Kyle Mears, um, the West Indies hero from the first test in, in Bangladesh. You talk about coming over to play for the Barbados Pride. You would have, you know, you had an opportunity to go across to the Wayward Islands vol uh, volcanoes and play for them for about three, four or five years, um, they give you an opportunity to get your first class career uh, kick started. 
then you came to Barbados, you had a good season. Talk to us about through all of that. Um, was there any time that you maybe had, you know, doubts about, about yourself and about your cricket and what kept you going? Um, not really. I was, I'm an always positive person. Um, I always believe in myself. So in terms of having doubts, never happened. Um, the transition from Wainwright Islands to Barbados, I thought was very crucial. Um, I thought that was a changing point for me, um, the turning point, sorry. Um, I went from being a bowling all-rounder to a batting all-rounder. Obviously, in between that period, um, I was injured. So uh, the injury, you know, it was a, a setback for me. So an anchor injury, you're more focused on batting. So then um, coming through that process, um, I hardly, I hardly used to bowl, you know, because I, I fractured my left foot and that's the landing foot. So it was difficult for me to start back bowling. So I focus more on my batting, you know, me and my dad, um, he actually told me, you know what, this might be a blessing in disguise, you know, you might just go work hard at your batting and then forget bowling for a little bit. And it worked out very well, you know, coming home again, the opportunity by selectors, the coach, as I said before, um, Mr. Hindi Booms, the chairman, who gave me the opportunity alongside the coach, Mr. Chopman and, and Mr. Vasper Drake, and captain, Craig Braffitt to, to bat in a batsman position, you know, and, and it changed for me. Then um, I got the opportunity to bat higher, which I always wanted to do, and, and I really show what I can do. You, you talk about, um, about your, your bowling. Um, you, have you start, how, how much, are, how, how have you recovered? And how is it going now for you in terms of that? Um, but, but bowling for sure, you know, um, obviously I didn't get much chance of bowling this, in this, in the first test, um, obviously the condition not suitable for fast bowling. And then if you look at the maker, or say we had two senior fast bowlers, so Skipper went to them more often than not when he wanted a fast bowler. So but I'm prepared, you know, to, to do a, a proper job. You know, my stat speaks for itself. I'm a decent bowler. I must say, I, I don't think I'm a, a soldier bowler at all. Um, I could have an average of 20. For his class, you gotta be some good. So, um, any opportunity that presents itself, you know, looking to 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 dominate with the ball as well as they did with the bat. You talk about um your dad and um, everybody knows um Shirley Clark played for Barbados for a period. He uh, had a, a bit of a career uh, at the at the youth le at the youth level where he was outstanding batsman. Um, talk to us about his influence. Um. You know, your dad didn't the play, um, didn't make it to the to the test level. You have, you know, talk to us about that relationship and what 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 influence he's had on you throughout your career. Um, it started from young, you know, obviously my dad playing cricket and me coming up, being around him on weekends, you know, that that brought me into the game, you know. Um, going club cricket with my dad traveling on weekends and and, and just being around cricket, you know, whether is whether is the guys on the team throwing balls at me, join the bread, whatever the kids would be. So it started from there. And then I know he went on. Um, he's always there giving advice. I know he's a level three coach now. Actually came from playing cricket with my dad for him, you no know, coaching. So, you know, he's my personal coach. Um, we work hard together, you know, especially for this tour, you know, and the tour to England, we have put in a lot of work, especially with the lockdown, you know, where, where you can use the oval and stuff. Me and my dad put in a lot of work at Kelton Club. Um, as I said, he's always there, you know, after games play, we will sit down, we will talk. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's a good relationship. Um, he will ask me how I feel, what situations, he will tell me what he think, you know, not being too too hard or, or, or trying to uh, um, feed too much information or whatever the case may be, but, you know, um, that's trying to be there for me, you know, and that that's something that I really cherish, you know, that somebody could sit down and talk to after the first innings, like in this first test. Um, he called me, he said, well, you're looking good, uh, what you feel and what you think it should do different and, and what's not, you know, but, you know, th these things that, that sometimes you need, you know, somebody that could talk and not try to overload you with too much information or whatever the case may be. I think he, he does that well, you know, we have a nice relationship and I hope it continues to, to be that way, you know, for the rest of my great career. And you mentioned Carlton Club, you know, we, we can't leave this conversation without talking about the influence of Carlton in your life. We know a lot of uh, good people down there. Um, I just heard on, I was just listening to the radio, I heard 
Um, Smiley Bailey complimenting you. Um, you know, Smiley is a, a big Carrollton man. Um, talk to us about how, what 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 does what what Carrollton has meant to you. Um, you know, and the support you get from from there. I think Carrollton means a lot to me. Um, if anybody knows me, you know that Carrollton is my second home. If I'm not home, I'm at Carrollton Club. You know, and as you said, there's a lot of influential people at Carrollton and a lot of people that support me at Carrollton. Um, when they went to the chat after the game, the, um, the guys, club members were like, you know, we, we didn't sleep. We bought every ball, you know, we bought it every single ball, you from the footballers to the cricketers to the netballers, you know, the support is massive now at Carrollton and that's where it started, you know, um, and I believe that club life, you should cherish as a cricketer because that's the step, that's the first step in stone, you know. Um, well, Carlton, I don't think I will be here. Um, they provided me with opportunity to play club cricket and to represent them and then to move on to play regional cricket. So for me, it's very special. And that's why any opportunity I get to play for Carlton, I really go and play, you know, because the club is, club made me. And so I believe in the club a lot. Um, I also believe in giving back a lot too. So in terms of the development of the club and getting players to come and et cetera, youngsters, and I'm very big on that, you know. I, I want my club to be one of the best clubs in the Caribbean. And I actually said that last year. I told them we need to we need to do that. We need to become a Queen Spar of Barbados, you know, trying to be the best club in Barbados. And, you know, we have a lot of potential. There's nets. There's a lot of areas where we could could do stuff and what's not. Um, so, so yeah. So I'm very big on Calvin Club. Then your most fa the most famous son at Carlton is uh, Desmond Haynes. Um, <laughs> any advice from him? Well, has he called you? You know. Well, yeah. Um, we haven't spoken after this after the game, but I know he's willing to speak to me. You know. Um, always share advice. Always believe in me too as well. So. Um, Mr. Haynes played a very crucial part in my development as well. When he was there coaching, and uh, not even when he was there coaching, oh no, um, he would shoot me a message. My uncle would tell me, you know, you spoke to Desmond, you know, my uncle, like he inspired, he would say, you spoke to Desmond, Desmond played this cricket, you should speak to him, you know. So, yeah, he's been there since on the 19, coming through the World Cup, whatever the case, Desmond was there for me, you know. So, it's very special to have someone like him around the club. And uh, also, too, you talk about Ikins, um, your, your, your uncle. Um, you come from a, a real sporting family. You've got your dad, you've got Ikins, who's played um, cricket um, locally, uh, for, also for Carrollton. you got, I understand, you, you have a sister, Tia, who, who's also a, a decent long jumper. Um, then you've got Zidane, who's also at Carrollton with you, Zidane Clark. So, a real sporting family. So, what, what, are, what are family gatherings like when, when, there's, when, you know, when the Clarks get together? <laughs> Uh, talking about sports <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny you know because you know we get together my uncle would say he was he was a top boxman you know my father would say you, you can't catch like me you know back in the day you know it'd be fun you know it, it'd be real fun you know um to have a family that playing cricket you know it's very special and that's how that's how we got into the game me and my brother got into the game because of the family you know but um my uncle that passed away, Terry Clark, you know, yes. he was very influential in my life. Um, a lot Another character man too. Yeah. I mean, um, he was like my second dad. I used to be with him so much. Um, he actually took me from primary school and played, let, let, let me play my first game for Carlton about nine years old um, against some guys um, at Maxwell, uh, second division. Um, my dad and my uncle was scared, but, you know, Uncle Terry told him, you know, He's good enough. He can handle it. Coming up against guys like um, Rudy Clark. I mean, Rudy Mears, sorry, Rudy, yeah, Rudy Mears. Rudy, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I tell you, my, I in primary school, no helmet and Rudy Mears bowling bouncers and stuff and everybody frightened, you know. But, you know, he made it true. Um, I scored a scratchy 24. I helped the team the first innings, you know. And and it was it was history from there, you know. Mm. That's what I know. Um, then I played my first game for, for Carlton senior team at 15, 16, when my dad, I can remember, in the Queen's Park, yeah. And then it keep going up and things keep happening from there. As I said, we're here talking to um, Kyle Mears. We come, we're going to wrap up and just have two more questions for you, Kyle. Really appreciate your time. 
Um, they tell me that you like a lot of um, video games. What are some of the things you take on tour? What do you What are you doing? What is What's What's, what's happening on sure. tour? What are you doing on tour to pass the time? Because it's you know it's COVID. You guys can't go you know too far to venture too far from the hotel. So what do you do to occupy your time? Oh, recent. Um... I've been watching Netflix, but I am a serious gamer. I love my PlayStation. You know, I don't leave home. I'll take anybody to tell you home or away. That takes up more of my time. I mean, I just enjoy playing video games. Um, I try to not I try to let it not get too bad so it would distract me from cricket, whatever the case may be. So sometimes I will just sell it and then I might watch a couple movies on Netflix, whatever the case may be. And that was my routine. For the last couple of weeks, you know, I haven't been playing as much game, but I've been watching TV. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but I love video games. Um, what did you do the night before the uh, that big innings? <laughs> Let me try to remember. Um, <laughs> nothing much, I guess. I the normal stuff. Um, went dinner. Um, went to bed early. <laughs> I just try to do. Normal things. I I wasn't thinking about it too much. Um, my dad always saying that you gotta respect the game, you know. So I try to do I try to do the good stuff before the game, you know, drink water, get some good rest. Yeah, then kind of things, you know, because um I know uh it was this cricket is very hard, as I said previously, is it's not easy being being in first class cricket and playing for four days and then come in and playing five days as against top opposition, you know, it's not very easy. So I uh, have to maintain doing the right things before before the game. All right. Well, you're preparing for the second test um there in um in Dhaka. Um what are, what is what's how do you see things going for you for, for you and the team? In this second game, you lead a series one. There's a chance to win, uh, a rare chance for the West Indies to win a, a series overseas. Um, talk to me a little bit about your preparations for that and how do you see it going in the second test? Uh, for the team, personally, um, uh, sorry, for the team, not personally. Uh, for the team, I think we are a very positive um, team right now. Uh, very confident after the, 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 the victory too as well, but not getting ahead of ourselves because we know the opposition and we know the conditions. But uh, the preparation being great, um, the guys ready to go again, you know, not not looking to ease up at all because we know the opportunity. We're looking to come hard hard at us. Uh, me personally, I just trying to start over, um, continue to do the things I did in the first game, just forgetting what happened and and try to continue doing the right things. As I said, stick to my game plan as long as possible and try to help the team. Get over the line again if it comes to that. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kyle Mears. Um, West Indies hero in the first test in against Bangladesh there in um in Bangladesh. Really wish thank you for your time and wish you best of luck in the second test.